Hello everybody, welcome to the next episode of Diecast Alfie and as I said last time we've got these two pop races left of the Porsche of that batch that I got about a week ago we've still not received any of the Mini GT as I said so we are concentrating for the time being on these pop race I was saying this is the last two of them that I've got um, and it's the PR6414, the RWB997, obviously in yellow. <laughs> um, remember we've got the index system if you stand them up on the sides, which I think is brilliant. And uh, on the back, still no, I can't see anything there about being a licensed product you've got the details in the bottom left hand corner the barcode and the actual details of the vehicle okay as i said many many times now i do like these um pot race boxes because you can see on the ends what they are but it's that index system i think it's good okay so there's that one and then we've got the PR6410 Singer Mulholland Drive. Okay, and that's got like a tricky purpley paint, uh, blue paint colour on it. Paint job, paint colour, whatever. Okay, still can't see any licensed product. Details in the bottom left hand side. Okay. So I think we'll start with the yellow one, save the tricky paint job for the last. I say I've opened all these, I've, I've taken the seal off, but I've, I've not opened them to take them out. It was just to save time because I, I, I'm not aware of any chases in these vehicles. So. Oh my god. Wow. What's the hell? It blinds you. The yellow. Wow. Oh, wow, look at that. Look how bright that is. Wow, oh, I do like that actually. Look at them uh, deep, deep potted wheels. Um, spoked. It's got something written down the side of it. The wheels. May be able to see that once we've got it on the close up. A hard wing mirrors, rough world across the vi the visor. We'll get it all close up in a minute. Smooth bottom, nothing on there. Bit of motty, so acrylic inserted headlamp. Yeah, wow. Wow, I, ooh, I like that. Fat end, Notting Hill, it says. Uh, nice ro silver roll cage inside. It's left hand drive. Um, twin exhaust either side. Nice spoiler. Hmm, very nice. Yeah, oof. Tell you what, I love that yellow. Wow. Wow, that really. Well, if you look on the box, you see the box. The box is nice as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's uh, very, very vibrant. Get over there. What does that say? Motties? Motties on the front. I don't know what Motties is or Moffies. Moties. Don't know. Trying to see them. See the spoke wheels there. You can see it in the light. They're that black. They're hard to see. Don't know if you can read what that says. Right, 
I'll have to wait until I get it on the computer I think before I can read anything a uh, little bit high for me a little bit um, should have been a little bit more lower profile but having said that if that's how it is that's how it is just because I like them lower it seems a bit high that to me but what do I know I know nothing in the words of Manuel poor guy I think he died this year didn't he was it this year or rough world that was Manuel off faulty towers Absolute Andrew Sash. What a what a character that was, Manuel. Whoa. Superb. Yeah, really, really like that. Lovely um lovely dynamic model. That would stand out you know in anybody's uh, cabinet that would. Like that little 78 number, little ticket on the corner. Nice bit of uh, air in, outtake intake. On, well, it's not an intake, is it? But, you know, on the on the rear. For the old aerodynamics. So nice clear windscreens, on, um, windows on these. Pot races, I do like that. Nice fat back end, like me, chunky boy. Am I allowed to call myself a chunky boy now, or can I get in trouble for calling myself? There's the thing. Oh dear. Nice acrylic um, brake lights either side of the spoiler there. Now I think that says under the spoiler Yokohama You see the closer I get it's garbage Absolute garbage that I have to come all the way out and put it sideways up there yeah look <laughs> crazy now you see I do I, I do have a macro lens the only trouble is the, with a macro lens you it's a fixed lens you know so like that what that's what it is you know you can't come out like that you can't you know it, it is what it is and I think it's a 660, 60 whatever it is, fixed lens. You can tell I don't know anything about my cameras, do you? When it's a 60 whatever it is. <laughs> F, is it an F60 or something, whatever it is. I, I, I do know, do you know what? You wouldn't believe what I know about focal points and all this uh, focal F stops and, you know, you know uh, getting sharp focuses and blurring it and I, I'm, what it is I read it all I know it all and then I forget it all <laughs> 56 you know anyway oh I st I'm one of those I start off with you know who starts a, a hobby starts off with all the best intentions in the world and then and then I forget it when it all goes when it all goes to rat shit <laughs> I, I, I forget everything then but anyway, I got a beautiful macro lens oh, a few years ago. Canon, but as I say, so it's a fixed focal length. That's it, isn't it? Focal length of 60. There you go. Whereas this is a variable. What's this? 18 to... F hey. Hang on. 18... Oh, God, I can't even read it. 18 to 85 uh, to 135 that's right 18 to 135 there you go so we start off at 18 there 135 <laughs> and anything in between okay 
start stop waffling Alfie okay it's what it's what happens when you're in the back bedroom with your mum right very very nice um color I love the color I think it's stunning the model I love the wheels and the rest of it yeah okay it's okay nothing spectacular um but very very nice don't get me wrong I'm don't un you know I'm not underestimating this vehicle at all right let's have a look there so we're going to move on anyway to this single Mulholland so I've been waffling PR6410 okay so we're gonna Oh, 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 oh. oh dear me, wow. That is a bit tixy. It looks quite dark on the box, you see. Well, that's, wow. It's like them camouflage ones, you know, when they're doing the prototypes and they have them on the road and you can't see them, the camouflage, only with a bit of colour. Wow. Love, love them wheels. Again, instead of being black, there silver spoke. Same, same wheels, but silver, silver this time. Well, that paint job's very psychedelic, very um, wow, 60s psychedelic. That's, uh, yeah, I do like that actually. Wow, something very different. That very different. That's a lovely, lovely model that is. A brown interior for a change. A bit of a roll cage. Better just check that, yeah. Back to that little bit of gubbins in, on the rear. On the base, whatever. Yeah, that's thick spoiler there. Don't like that, the little exhaust in the middle, but there you go. Little tiny silver tucked in wing with us. Oh, do you know that's beautiful little machine that is. I'll show you the difference. Look at the difference between the size of it. It's tiny. Nice front end, lovely acrylic inserted. I love that word acrylic. <laughs> uh, inserted headlamps, inserted uh, indicators. I think they're just painted on, which is just as well because they, so they don't fall out. Painted on um, headlamps. Lovely, lovely. You see the crazy paint job. Been uh, doing a bit of the old mushrooms in the 60s, you'd know about this car. And the Alfire. Very tixy. Wow. Yeah. Very, very nice. Love the silver trim around the wind wind windows. Yeah, you see I like say that little little double exhaust in the middle I don't like that it would be one single either side or but even they'd get lost it'd probably just be best a double to, to either the left or the right but 
And it, it, for me, it does need a, a registration plate of some nature or something. Nice spoiler there. Yeah, nice spoiler. Very, very nice model. Really, really nice. Yeah, to say the least. Yeah, it's got flared arches, arches at the back. Which um, say them tyres are, they look like the slightly fatter, and I'm sure they are, but it might just be the body kit that's making them look like that. No, it's not. They are, yeah, you can see clear, clear on that one. They are fatter, yeah, definitely, definitely. So there we there we are. We've got that rascal. Lovely machine. Very very nice. So let's put them back there. So you put the comparison, and they are quite a difference in size. <laughs> both very very nice in their own right prefer this one with the paint job um, I think most of these pot races that I've seen up to now are actually very very good quality and <clears throat> they look like they are for the collector's market that yellow one Apart from the wheels, for me, doesn't look like... I don't know why. The colour's stunning. The actual model, it, it doesn't look like it's for a collector, if that makes it. It looks like a toy. And... Yeah, it looks like a toy. It's as simple as that, in my opinion. You know, it's still a gorgeous model, don't get me wrong. Um, what do you know I mean, I'm not calling toys. I mean, God, I've got enough of them. I've got thousands of the bl blooming things, but well, I won't say thousands of toys, but I've got certainly got hundreds of the the ones that look like you know toys. The the Hot Wheels. See, I think a lot of the the stock model to Hot Wheels they're just toys for kids, personally, and. Um, Oh, some of the, the other stuff, the, the mayorettes that I have, the, the, the mayorettes, most of them are just toys. But I like them, so it doesn't matter. Okay, well, on that note, I hope you've, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, hit the like button. Um, if you've not, well, that's fine. You, you don't have to like, like it. Look at the size difference of that. Um, whew, that's massive. Um, yeah, uh, if you're not already a, um, one of my subscribers, please subscribe to me. Make um, a, a, give us a tick. Make make your notifications by hitting the bell, and uh, you don't miss anything then. Uh, I'm, I try to bring them out quite often, uh, just so I don't lose my my um, interest in, in the models, really. Uh, as much for you and me, because I'm retired now on ill health. Uh, I brought me back and, you know, uh, I, 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 I don't get out much, but that's through choice. Um, uh, I think the world's gone mad quite frankly anyone else who would uh, agree with me please hit that like button and and then and show us a uh, uh, show us support 
Um, yeah, I think the world's gone crazy. Um, and I'm just quite happy now to sit here and uh, be happy with, with my models. That's what makes me happy. Uh, in November, I'm going to see my wife and children in Thailand. That makes me happy. Um, I speak to my family every day. That makes me happy. So you enjoy your family and try and get them, you know, try and get your kids involved in collecting. Hey, if it's not die-cast models, collect something because the, the bond you get with your kids, you know, was something that I remember with my, my lad, uh, one of them. Um, the other one had a, a relationship with his Xbox. But um, my youngest lad, who is now 27, uh, me and him went fishing and believe me, he loved it. And I loved it as well. And it is something that passes you by very, very quickly and makes you extremely um, grateful for the times that you had when you when you shared that hobby with some somebody who, who you know really um, was close to you. So if you you know you've got any any children who would like this hobby, get them involved. It's good. It's clean. It's safe, and uh, enjoy. Okay, I've waffled enough. If I can find my controls, I'll turn it off. Okay, take care everybody. Bye.